The purpose of this video is to help you understand the Plimsoll analysis. Each company is analyzed through the Plimsoll model. Key to the model are the charts. They measure changes taking place in a company's accounts over four years. These charts analyze the most important areas of a business and are structured so that a rising line indicates an improvement in performance and a falling line a decline. The Plimsoll chart measures the overall financial position of the company. It is an average of the five charts above it. Each of these ratio charts contributes equally to calculate the Plimsoll chart. These charts include two lines, the industry average in green and the company in blue. Each dot represents a year in the accounts. The Plimsoll overall rating chart for Eastman Kodak Co. started declining back in 2010. A quick glance at the other charts show the roots of the problems. It's important to look at these charts in more detail. Trading stability measures the sales return on total assets. This line remained level, although sales declined, assets were being cut at the same rate. The profitability chart continued to decline as the company continued to lose money. This shows that although assets were being trimmed, the company failed to address its profitability problem. Working capital was already low and fell rapidly in the last two years. This chart shows that the business did not have enough assets to pay creditors without selling more assets. Gearing, or leverage as you may know it, measures how much of the company is owned by the shareholders. Constant decline in this chart shows how shareholder ownership had declined as more of the business was in the hands of the lenders. Immediate liquidity measures the short-term cover for trade creditors. This chart remained high. So you can see within two seconds through the Plimsoll chart I was able to spot a company whose financial performance was declining rapidly and through the other charts where the roots of the problems were. Nine out of ten previously failed companies had a low and falling Plimsoll line up to two years prior to their demise. Of course, not all companies with a low and falling Plimsoll line will fail. However, if they hit a severe event, for example a bad debt, a downturn in their market, or a loss of a key customer, they may not have the resource to withstand this storm. Equally as important, the model identifies successful companies that are moving from strength to strength whose Plimsoll chart is improving. Each company's accounts appear in their local currency and US dollars or euros to allow comparison across countries. You can have this analysis on any company in your industry from across the world or in a specific region. For a one-off task, you can purchase a single PDF of any industry for 1500 US dollars. However, if you wish to analyze your industry on an ongoing basis and monitor companies as they file new results, a 12-month subscription to Talat, Plimsoll's online industry analysis, would be most suitable for you. You can purchase this for 2300 US dollars. Talat lets you effortlessly scan the companies. Simply scroll over the company names and watch the change in their overall financial rating chart. For over 25 years, Plimsoll analyses have been used by senior decision makers in global companies to monitor their competition, identify acquisition targets, and suitable businesses with whom to trade. Talat will allow you to monitor the familiar and draw your attention to the unfamiliar. So sign up now and empower yourself with a Plimsoll analysis by simply calling or emailing Plimsoll.